Hello, I'm the Rocky Mountains, Dr. Jackson Crawford. I'm an Old Norse specialist that teaches at the University of Colorado Boulder, previously at UC Berkeley and UCLA. As those of you who might have been following my videos and my translations over the past couple of years will know, I have a deep and abiding love for the text Hovamal in the Poetic Edda. This is the poem in which Odin shares not only his wisdom and practical advice, but also the mystery of how he sacrificed himself to himself on the world tree Yggdrasil to learn the runes. I have been granted the extraordinary opportunity by my publisher, Hackett, to deliver to you in September 2019 my third book, which will be a standalone Havamal. Now let me tell you what's special about this because it really is something uh, that doesn't exist yet. This book includes not just, this isn't just a reprint of my translation of Havamal, which has already appeared in my translation of the Poetic Edda from Hackett. This book reflects nine more years of, uh, of study and research and, and of teaching this text, uh, both in the original and in translation. And so I have refined my translation in a couple of ways since then. And to help you understand why I made the choices that I made as a translator, and also to make your own decisions about what you think about the text, I am including the Old Norse text side by side with my English translation. Now, this is not just a case of me going and copying and pasting someone on the internet uh, who's, who's OCR'd the text of Havamal from some public domain book somewhere. You can find that in a lot of places. But those just repeat the same old mistakes and the same old misinterpretations. Here, what I've done is I've actually gone back to the Codex Regis manuscript, the only manuscript in which Havamal is found, and I have printed exactly what I see there. Now, of course, uh, there's a lot of things that are open to interpretation in the text of Havamal. Uh, there are places where the scribe clearly left out a word or words. There are places where the scribe probably didn't know what he was copying because the text is in such archaic language, or where we simply don't understand uh, what's meant by the gist of a, of a stanza. So I also include a commentary so that as you read through the text, you can also look at my explanation of uh, why I've made a particular decision in translating or why I fill in a particular gap in a particular way or what the different interpretations are about what a stanza might mean uh, if many scholars disagree. This will be a little bit like the videos that I made uh, early in 2018 about uh, the, going through all the different stanzas of Havamal and reading them uh, in Old Norse and explaining to you what the words meant. But this will reflect uh, even more scholarship, a, a much deeper look at the text uh, than those videos, which are intended only to kind of guide you in the basic process of reading. So in addition to a facing page translation uh, in English with the Old Norse original, you'll also have my uh, Cowboy Havamal, something I'm still very fond of, uh, translation of the first 79 or so stances of Havamal into the voice of my grandfather, whose advice always reminded me of the advice in Havamal. Plus, there will be some additional Old Norse texts that haven't appeared in my books before, including Eriksmal and Håkarmal, two poems about uh, dead men being welcomed to Valhalla, as well as Daradaljöð about the Valkyries, and the scene from Gautrek's saga in which a man is sacrificed to Odin in much the same way as he sacrifices himself in Havamal stanza 138. I hope that you'll check out some of my videos about Havamal if this is a text that uh, you want to get some more familiarity with, you can already do so with my videos. But please look for The Wanderer's Havamal, which in September 2019 will be published by Hackett Publishing Company, marking my third book with them after the Poetic Edda, Stories of the Norse Gods and Heroes, and the Saga of the Volsungs with the Saga of Ragnar Lothbrok. Uh, I hope you're as excited about this news as I am, and from beautiful Colorado, let me wish you all the best.